Comfort Bears provides a warm, fuzzy friend for children fighting serious illness or experiencing trauma. Nicole Martin from CHCH Television is with us. She's the ambassador for the charitable organization this year. Nicole, the goal is to provide a thousand bears to kids in 2022. It absolutely is, and we are well on our way at this point. We've delivered hundreds of bears so far this year, and we're only into March, which is fantastic news. What does it cost to get these thousand bears to the children? Well, each bear is $20. They're brand new, they're unused, and we are completely volunteer based at Comfort Bears. So if you make a donation, 100% of the proceeds go directly into one of these super cute little teddies that will go into the arms of kids in need in our area. And, and you've nailed it right on the head, $20. A $20 donation will buy one bear. Yeah, that's exactly it. And we have delivered hundreds so far. We launched last year. And just in Niagara, uh, there's two main organizations that we're working with, which is just fantastic. We've got Wellspring Niagara and also the Christian French Child Advocacy Center. Let's face it as well, a lot of Niagara residents drive up to Hamilton for McMaster's Children's Hospital and also for the Ronald McDonald House. They do. And these bears go into the arms of those children too. And it, it's just... Oh, it's it's so sad. Um, you know, you've got kids who are battling terminal illness and they're going into procedure after procedure. And you just think back to when you had a teddy yourself and to hold it. It just provides that comfort. It provides that hope to children who really need it at such a, a dire time. Nicole, I'm curious, as ambassador, have you had a chance to visit one of the locations and see the comfort bears used for support? Yes, I've been to the Darling Home in Milton, and I've also uh, dropped off at the Kristen French Child Advocacy Center. I didn't get to see the kids, but just talking to the people who work there and the volunteers, the statistics are troubling in Niagara. Even on their website, they list Niagara Regional Police have said that there's at least one child in the region every day that's either physically or sexually assaulted. And a lot of those kids go to the Kristen French Child Advocacy Center and that's where they're being interviewed by Niagara Regional Police. And to think that they get to hold on to one of these while they're going through that time and having to share that story, um, you know, it just, it really, it really shows that what we're doing is making a difference. And, and even the testimonials, I wanna pick up my phone because I do wanna read one and it is, it's just really sad. It's awful, but this is the reality. So this is one of the testimonials we've heard. Upon entering the home, a victim services volunteer saw a child sitting next to her mother who had just endured domestic violence. With broken bones, the child would not leave her side. When given the comfort bear, she gave it an immediate hug and was heard saying, I will never hurt you. I mean, I just, I start tearing up when you hear some of the testimonials like that. That's a, a wonderful story, a wonderful testimony. Some of these children may not have ever had a teddy bear of their own before because of the upbringing in some of those homes. Absolutely. They hold it. They hold it. They give it a big hug. And, and to think that this might be their one piece of comfort that they have, uh, it, it's pretty amazing that just this alone makes just such a huge difference.